everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new sewing tutorial every single Wednesday to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm going to be showing how to sew the ladder stitch. It is a hand sewing stitch that is used to close up stuffed animals. This is a part of a memory bear sewing series that I'm doing here on my channel. So if you just happen across this video and you haven't seen the other videos in the series yet, then make sure to check out the playlist that is linked below in the description box as well well as in the information icon in the upper corner of the screen. So like I said, the ladder stitch is a hand sewing stitch that is used to close up stuffed animals, um, pillows, and other stuffed types of projects. If it's done correctly, it is nearly invisible, so it is a great one to use. I use it to close up the back, the arms, and the legs of the memory bears that I make. Start by threading a needle and bring both ends of the thread together and tie in a double knot. Bring the needle up from the inside of your project a few stitches away from where your opening begins. Then take a small stitch in one side parallel with the opening. Your needle should be moving away from where you started. Move across the opening and take a parallel stitch on the opposite side. It's a little hard to tell because the edge is turned under in some spots, but I'm trying to keep my stitches consistently at about one quarter inch away from the cut edge of the fabric. Continue taking a stitch on one side, then on the other, and you can start to see the rungs of the ladder starting to form. After a few stitches on each side, pull the thread so it tightens the stitches and closes up the space between the rungs. I had slightly overstuffed this bear so I had to be very careful to pull the thread gently because I snapped the thread the first time and had to start over on my ladder stitch. With it being a little overstuffed it keeps the stitches from closing up quite as tightly as I wanted near the top but that happens sometimes. After you have sewn about half of the opening closed your ladder stitch will start staying tighter on its own. You can adjust your stitches if needed, making them shorter or longer, or moving them closer or further from the fabric edge if you need to help the finished seam lay flatter. Continue repeating the same steps over and over until you have completely closed up the seam. Then take a small stitch near where you finished and pass the needle through the loop of thread before pulling it tight to make a knot. Repeat for a second knot. Then put the needle in right by the spot you ended and push the needle back out an inch or two away. Pull the thread tight and trim close to the stuffed animal. This gives your thread a tail that's hidden inside so the knots won't come untied later. I'm going to show all these steps again just to make sure everything makes sense. Here I'm sewing up one of the legs which was not overstuffed so the ladder stitch turned out a lot smoother and nicer looking. I wanted to show both so you can see that it doesn't always turn out absolutely perfect and that is okay. I think the person making the item is the only one who will ever notice the imperfection anyway.
So there you have it. This is a pretty simple stitch to do, but it is definitely essential to making memory bears and other stuffed projects. If you want to see some of the other bears that I make, you can check out my Whitney Sews Memories page on Facebook, and it is linked down below in the description box. And then to see the rest of my memory bear series, you can check out the playlist that is linked right over here to the side. If you're not subscribed already, you can do so by clicking my picture right down there. And then until next time, happy sewing!